Hi, uh, this is Dr. Roger Shipley. Uh, I'm going to talk to you for a few minutes about the internship uh, program here at TWU. Um, depends on the track you're on. As you know, uh, Health Studies has uh, community health, pre-OT, pre-PT, master's prep, and um, a teaching track. If you're in a teaching track, you'll student teach and you'll not have an internship. If you're in community health or master's prep, then you'll have to take 12 credits an internship, and that is equivalent to working 360 hours at a site. Pre-OT and pre-PT do 180 hours uh, on that. So, so that's the uh, basic information. Uh, for in order to sign up for internship, you must complete HS 4121. That's the class where you will. Um, receive a variety of sites where students have been in the past and the student picks their site. Years ago the department used to place you but uh, we found we put students in sites that uh, wasn't towards their uh, professional goals. So now you have the choice uh, of, of agency to pick. You will have a list of where students have been in the past four or five years, probably a list of about 150 different sites and Metroplex in uh, Houston, Austin, uh, San Antonio and other sites. Uh, requirements to do internship you must have a 2.75 overall GPA. You must have a 2.7 I'm sorry you must have a 275 overall GPA. You must have a 275 in health studies. <coughs> to begin your internship you must have completed everything. All your health studies courses, all your university courses, your TW core courses. When you finish your 12 or six hours of internship you will be ready to graduate. Um, if you receive a DFWI uh, and a required course uh, your next to last semester usually it's uh, evaluation and planning you cannot do an internship. Again you have to have C's and all the um, health related courses. <clears throat> These are questions that often come to me. Uh, uh, where can I do my internship? You can do the internship anywhere in the world. Um, I've had people in several African countries. I had somebody in Japan. Uh, I had somebody in Canada. In the United States, I've had interns in Florida, New Jersey, New York, California, uh, see, I think Montana. So you can go anywhere in the world, basically. Uh, you would have to find a a preceptor. Preceptor is a term you use for the person who will be working with you at your internship. Uh, you have to find a preceptor and of course you must be doing something concerning health education at that site. <clears throat> uh, when you're looking for a site uh, you'll be telling the uh, prospective preceptors that you have to do four of the seven areas of responsibility. Again hopefully, uh, well actually this is for all students, some of you maybe haven't discussed this, but you will in your various classes discuss the seven areas of responsibility in health education. Um, for those of you getting close to internship and when you go out and talk to people, uh, if the person's not a health education graduate, they may not know what uh, these seven areas of responsibility are, so you may have to uh, explain to them on that. So uh, you will do four of the seven areas of responsibility at your site. <coughs> Usually you wind up doing all seven, but you're required to do four of the seven areas. Uh, other questions are, am I paid? 95% of the time there's no stipend or salary involved. Uh, there are a few agencies that do give a stipend of anywhere from $500 to $3,000, but uh, those are rare. Again, most of the internship sites are, uh, we want to put it volunteer work. You're not reimbursed for anything. MOT students and uh, pre-PT students will do 180 clock hours at the site. I think I mentioned that before. And community health will do 360. Again, make sure you tell the individuals uh, uh, which one you are. One thing to do when you're out there, make sure you have your resume. So you should start working that now. Uh, when you get to 4121, you have to have a resume and you'll take it to career services to get it approved. Uh, I would start working on it now, uh, those of you who are new to the program. Uh, you need a resume to take 
to the agency. A couple things to make sure you do for the resume. I find that students are not aware of uh, the titles. You are in the Department of Health Studies. I had people put uh, as their major, uh, they put down public health, health promotion, health and wellness. Your major is health studies. You'll receive a bachelor's of science in health studies with an emphasis in community health, pre-OT, master prep, uh, pre-PT, or education. Once you're at the site, your preceptor will sit down with you and many times you'll get a little office, many times you get a computer, it depends on the agency. Uh, and they'll go over um, protocol with you. <clears throat> and internship prep, I'll give you a document called internship protocol that talks about uh, again professional dress things that you need to know about uh, the internship uh, the internship basically is like a job for three to four months it's important to do a good uh, job there uh, I've been doing this for probably 10-15 years and I say 98 percent of our interns have done outstanding jobs this is uh, importance when you're looking for a full-time job they look at your GPA your major but they're also looking at uh, experience. If you just graduate with a BS and go out there for a job, you have very little experience. So your internship is your experience uh, on site. And your preceptor probably is the best person to develop a relationship with and to uh, ask for a reference when you're looking for a full-time job. Some of the things that you may have to do, and this varies uh, from uh, site to site, some sites require a contract. Uh, we have contracts for certain hospitals, especially hospitals. Uh, others, if it's a new site, we'll have to get one. It's important to get placed early in the internship prep class because contracts take a per period of time to get approved. <clears throat> other sites will require a drug test. That'll be up to you uh, to obtain that. Uh, some sites require a background check. Uh, I, I can have our Department of Public Safety, TWU, do that, so uh, we can take care of that. If you're working with children or in a hospital setting, you may need a TB uh, screen. So these are some of the things that happen to some interns. Others, the agency may not require any of these uh, things. When you arrive at your internship site, uh, many times they'll start you off writing grants. TWU Health Studies has an excellent reputation with the uh, internship sites out there. I'd say every semester two or three students will tell me the very first day they get started in writing a grant. The reason for this is that our grant writing course has prepared you well and we've had students there previously they've done excellent jobs writing grants. One hint if they ask you to write a grant and you're looking for a, a position after an internship I've had in the last three years four students who wrote in uh, they wrote in a position for their sales. The grant was funded, and they got that position. So uh, they, uh, again, were able to obtain a job by writing themselves into a grant. Uh, one was real nice. It was a woman about four years ago at Coleman who uh, wrote herself in the grant, and she was there for three years until the grant ran out. Uh, of course, when the grant expires, uh, your job um, may expire, or... Uh, if another one opens up, uh, you would have a uh, probably first uh, crack at that job. So as I said, uh, we have an excellent reputation. You'll also find quite a few of your preceptors will be TWU graduates in health studies. For example, AHEC uh, in Dallas-Fort Worth. AHEC is Area Health Education Centers. There are 17 AHECs throughout Texas. There's one in uh, Dallas for work. There's one in Decatur. There's one in Houston. There's one in Austin. But the one in Dallas, <coughs> the director got her PhD in health studies, uh, and f she has four employees there now, and all four are TWU health studies graduates. And this is one site where uh, they did their internship there, and somebody left for whatever reason, health reasons, better job or whatever, <coughs> and they were kept on. Uh, as full-time employees. So uh, <clears throat> um, there is a possibility, but again, as I said, it's uh, important not to think that you're going to uh, obtain a job from your internship. A couple things, and again, all this will be covered in HS 4121. What this is 
hopefully to do is get you interested in thinking about internship, maybe possibly even um, always searching for a site. A couple things <clears throat> in case you are searching for a site. Until you sign up for 4123, you cannot officially be considered an intern. Uh, sometimes uh, you'll talk to somebody about a future internship and they said, well, we can use you right now. If you decide to go there, you go as a volunteer and you make them aware you're not working as a TWU intern. Uh, the reason for this is your liability insurance. The first day of your internship, uh, liability insurance will become effective. When you sign up 4123, you automatically get uh, liability insurance. But it does not become effective until the first day of classes. <clears throat> you cannot be representing TWU or health studies until you have liability insurance. Again, feel free to volunteer. It looks good in your resume. It looks good when you're uh, looking for another job that you did volunteer work. The person you work with can uh, provide a good reference for you. But again, uh, the internship cannot begin until uh, the first day of classes of that specific semester. Some of the sites we have uh, <clears throat> of our Voluntary Health Agency, American Heart, American Cancer, National Kidney Foundation, especially your larger cities, almost all those are available. Uh, Departments of Health, <clears throat> uh, we've placed people in the Denton County uh, Health Department, the Dallas City, Dallas County Health Department, Tarrant County, Fort Worth Health Departments, Plano Health Department. Another good site are wellness programs. Uh, we've had people at uh, Nokia at Frito Lays, Baylor Tom Landry, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield. In these sites, uh, you'll usually develop programs for the employees. Sometimes you're developing programs for the employee and their family. Depends on the, the site you go to. Many times they'll have weight reduction programs you develop. You'll have stress management programs. you have smoking cessation, nutrition education preventative health care, things like that. So uh, that's a big area right now, as you're well aware of, are the wellness centers at uh, various uh, corporations. When you're doing your internship, <coughs> uh, myself or Dr. Bernstein will be coming out to visit you. We make one visit. We call and check up on you at the internship site, uh, make sure everything's going okay, and we encourage you to uh, uh, contact us if there are some problems. Again, the procedure is uh, when once you're placed, uh, you'll do, well, let's say your community health, you do 360 hours. After you complete 180 hours, your preceptor will do a evaluation when it's a Likert scale. You're rated one to four, and then they also will make personal comments. They will go over that evaluation with you. Many times students get upset when they don't get all fours. Four is, of course, the highest, and I try to tell them many preceptors consider a four being basically perfect so you should be getting twos and threes actually and then the final evaluation is the same instrument those two should increase to threes or fours then so there should be hopefully a, a, an improvement over uh, the first 180 hours uh, versus the second 180. You will send weekly logs to uh, myself and send it to my fax and um, that must be signed by your preceptor <clears throat> that's verifying you did 22 hours that week and you put a brief description of the work that you did at the agency for that time. Uh, then when you finish your internship, you'll do a PowerPoint presentation, post it uh, online, um, and then uh, uh, if we have some face-to-face -face students, many times we have them come back to campus and do a PowerPoint presentation and we invite all majors to that. Online students are only required to do the PowerPoint online. There are other forms you fill out too, evaluating the site, evaluating your personal experience and things like that. I always tell the students this should be the best class you take, internship. You're putting into work the things you've learned over four years. And many times uh, when I go out to visit, uh, I'll say, uh, what class helps you most? And of course, the three that are mentioned most are program planning, program evaluation, and grant writing. All classes lead up to those, but those are the ones that you utilize uh, when you're out there working <coughs> in the field. And uh, this gives you a chance to put into effect what you've learned in your classes. And that's why I say it should be your best class. You're putting into action what you've learned. Again, we get comments from students and preceptors about how well the students have been prepared. The health studies faculty 
are very proud of the students that we put out there and the job that they're doing. When you get in campus, uh, those of you uh, who take any face-to-face -face classes or come on for meetings, where feel free to come in and see me. I'm CFO 1013. I'm the old timer here. I've been here 32 years. Uh, so I'd love to see you uh, stop in and chat. Uh, I'm always impressed with those of you who start looking early. I've had a couple students uh, here only halfway <clears throat> through their degree plan and they're already thinking about internship. That's really important to do. The other thing is some students wait to the very, very last and it's hard to get them placed because they just, I guess you say, procrastinate. So uh, I am willing to help you anytime, answer your questions. I'm looking for you to see you in internship prep. Uh, I teach those uh, both online and face-to-face -face, and also uh, Dr. Bernstein and I'll work with you in your internship. Thank you and uh, again feel free to contact me anytime.